Um, Hillary, hi. You got really upset with me last night. Um, I'm sorry. And I just wanted to say something um, about the position I'm in. Um, I really am trying to help out around here. Um, and I don't, I don't feel like I'm really wanted. And, and it's kind of a bad situation. Um, I don't want to go to a homeless shelter because we don't have a good one here in Richmond. I would. I mean, I don't mind homeless shelters that much. And you'd have to keep my dogs. And probably within six months, they'd get me a place to live. But um, I might have to go to Charlottesville for that. But then I, believe it or not, I'm an artist. I, I, I know it's like every time I tell you, you just go, yeah, right. I, I know that you're the kind of person, you're very scientific and mathematical and you're creative. Um, and I think, you know, I do think at some level you, you, you support me in the arts, but I also think you don't really accept it that I might be successful. It's easier to have me unsuccessful and sick than maybe someone that's making a mark in the art world. And some of it might be a little underground right now, and I know you're against me doing the videos. And I think they're going to be pretty popular in the future as things come about. Um, I don't think I've said one bad word about you ever. I, You know, I, I do have children, so at times I bring that up. But um, nothing to infringe upon your privacy really so much. Just enough to get an audience so we'll like it and learn from it. Um, when I was your age, I was... She, my mom was helping me with you, but I still had not recovered uh, from a childhood that had good and bad spots. I mean, my parents took me to soccer. I did swim team. Uh, went snow skiing. Um, but there were a lot of issues in my family that made it that my mom and I... My dad would let me do whatever I wanted. He was kind of like Jerry. And mom, she didn't like that, so she kind of hated me. Um, and then we made up. You know, it took a long time because it took me a long time to understand my mom was doing the best she could with her pan. She had panic anxiety attacks and stuff like that and depression. And she got on Wellbutrin. Um, but yeah, there's still those, those feelings of childhood where she she was not healthy. You know, she had all these problems. And um, it even though she was trying her best to do what she could and, and make a marriage work, you know, it just... It was devastating to her because that's all she ever wanted was a family. But anyway, um, as for your childhood, I just want you to know I did the best I could. For you to get over it eventually and forgive me, it might mean that you have a few more years to go before you can have empathy of going, Oh my God, I'm not a perfect parent either. And, um, you know, you said I strong-armed you with money. I was just trying to do it as a gift, you know, just to make... I didn't, I mean, the other day you said you didn't have any money in your account, so I heard you say that, and, um, or just a little bit of money, you had to transfer some funds, so I thought maybe, maybe you're short on cash to do those classes, it wasn't really to strong arm you, um, I just wanted to make it available if, if, if you were there with Callista, with the computer, or I was there, um, I mean, this. I want to give you Dave Matthews tickets so you can see him, but then I'm strong-arming you. And um, the negativity towards me would be healthier for everybody if you could turn it around a little bit and try to look at me. That's all I'm saying is, like, you know, I played with Callista. I did painting. I felt, you know, but there's just no, I mean, it's all negative. And it's not that, I mean, I'm. I know what I'm doing at your house, and I know where you're at in getting things together, and I want to be helpful, but you just hate me so much. You can't even thank me. Like, oh, thanks. You know, nothing major. But Matt came in, and he was like, oh, could, could you vacuum? I mean, it was a, he asked me to vacuum. And um, honestly, he sees a lot of dirt where I don't see it. I, I, I wait till things get better, like more dirt. And that's just the way I'm always let things get really messy before I want to clean them. But, you know, Matt was like, could you go back? And I was like, sure, yeah. I mean, in my perception, I did. it wasn't dirty enough. You know, I wait till it gets dirty. It's not that I'm a dirty person, but that's just my cleaning style that it'll get to a certain level. And I'll be like, oh, i got to go vacuum it. 
and I just didn't see that. So, like, when Matt came in and told me to vacuum, what he sees is just way different than what I see. I mean, I like, I like to really get it dirty and sweep it and pull it up. And, but anyway, um, you know, James and Morgan both got counseling. Um, I, I think Jennifer should get some counseling. She may be perfect on the outside, but there may be internal wars fighting inside her body causing her arthritis that we just don't know about. And I get that because I got so much therapy from my childhood. Um, I was the firstborn, and usually the firstborn gets the most problems um, because you're still trying to work stuff out. You, you don't know, you know, you're not as much of an adult either because when you parent and you have a grown child, you've been through a lot of stuff intrinsically day to day year to year and then all of a sudden you're like the third one's not so, so difficult not such a difficult adjustment at least 